Okay, recording this video after close of trade Tuesday, 11th of March 2014, and I'm having real trouble recording this video. I think I'm just trying to say too much, so let's keep it really simple. We're going down for a couple of days. So uh, the reason why we've been fussing around these highs, and finally we've kind of just run out of uh, steam, and uh, we're breaking into downtrends on the way down. So let me try and explain this. Uh, today's volume, 1.3 million contracts traded, a white bar, exhaustion sell bar here, kind of getting this move going. Best way I can explain this is using Better X Trend. Uh, Better X Trend is a trailing stop that uses exhaustion volume to determine trend. And trends start, uh, so for example, this last uptrend, you can see we had exhaustion selling at this point here. The last of the sellers have sold at this point, and then the move gets going going with an exhaustion buy signal with the red uh, bar kind of heading up and that flips us into an uptrend and then the move kind of keeps going until we get end up with exhaustion buying at the end of the move and you can see these last little exhaustion buy um, paint bars were really weak very low ranges there we kind of just ran out of steam up here on the Nasdaq and we've had two bars here we've broken now that trailing stop based on this exhaustion volume into a downtrend so we're going to get some weakness continuation of this tomorrow probably the next day until we find another similar kind of exhaustion pattern find some kind of support uh, from which we'll kind of move into another trend. So uh, today's activity, it was a bit stealthy, uh, but we've been fussing around at these highs and then finally we got this kind of rollover happening. Where we're going on the downside, I think the next, for me, the next important kind of support level is support on the 135 minute chart. I've been saying uh, this in the last two or three videos. So we're kind of rolling over at this point. I know timing wise, it looks like we're making a cross uh, here to put in that pullback support level, but we've got to have price confirmation. So we're going to have um, some down bars, uh, some down days, some uh, until we get that kind of uh, support in and then rally back, pull back to end of trend. So I'm not saying this is you know all over at Rover. All I'm saying is we're heading down for a couple of days into that support area there. Now, why is this happening? So um, look at the highest time frame tip bar charts, the 4,000, 13,500 and the 40,500 tip bar chart. We've been fussing around at these highs. Now, uh, easiest way to show you this is on the 4,500 tip bar chart. This was the last explosive rally that we had four or five days ago. This was kind of the news um, out of Russia that Putin is a good guy, the Crimea is, you know, belongs to them, no one's going to get very upset over it, and then bang, we race away into this kind of uptrend. On this left shoulder up here, we're putting in pullback to end of trend sequences on this lower time frame. Okay, so they're there, you can see that end end. That's the end of trend. That's the left shoulder kind of going on here. Since then, on this 4,500 tip bar chart, we've been doing nothing in terms of breaking into trends. It's not continued to break. We've overshot resistance, certainly up here, up in the 1880s. We kind of overshot with this kind of exhaustion pattern here, but nothing going on. And then on this kind of right shoulder here, yesterday's activity, we had exhaustion patterns, first bearish divergence and flush going on. And when we tested into those levels today, up in 1880s, bang, blue professional bars we couldn't get through. Let me just show you that. So we had this sequence, blue professional bars, sold it down really hard. We know they're selling because the highs of those bars don't get broken, the lows do. We get continuation of the sell kind of down here. So on that lower time frame, you know, we put in that uh, pullback to end of trend sequence and gone nowhere. Then the medium time frame after we put in our pullback to end of trend over here, which was on the 4,500, the next time frame up, 13,000. Then we're putting pullback to end of trend on the head of this uh, head and shoulders move. Yes, we kind of uh, went here. We kind of had that exhaustion uh, pattern up to 1885s, but didn't go anywhere. Again, no trend breaks. You know, support and resistance, we overshoot a little bit. We don't kind of get going anywhere. But today we did. We broke on the downside. And again, this is a middle time frame, the intermediate time frame, where we've now had exhaustion buying and bearish divergence after yesterday's activity. You know, we hadn't seen that in this whole rollover period over this four or five days where we've been fussing around here. And then finally, on the 40,500 tip bar chart, it was an overshoot here. When we get overshoots, we're waiting. That just shows the market is still strong. We are waiting to play out all of the cycl cyclical energy. So we had yesterday's support today into resistance right at today's high. The resistance does not get broken. So that's showing there's no overshoot here. This trend is now weak. This was still showing some strength on the upside. This we are weakening on the trend and then we've moved to the downside. Now, 
what we've done with an exhaustion pattern as well, which is kind of handy. So we spent all of that time, four or five days, just fussing around at these highs. We've now broken into a downtrend on the 4,500 tip bar chart with today's activity. As soon as we came through that low that was printed this morning, we broke into this downtrend, bang, and then on the 4,000, uh, sorry, 13,500, and that time, next time frame up, we're also breaking through here. Now, you might say, well, we've got exhaustion on the left shoulder. No, that is exhaustion. That is showing the strength of the trend getting this going. This is printing before we come through support here. So that move there is just showing the amount of selling going on. We need to see that pattern after on a left shoulder below support uh, for us to kind of signal the left shoulder kind of going on. So we got some weakness in the market. Finally, you know, I know I'm a little bit of a bear, but, you know, I'm being careful about, you know, saying this is not all over Red Rover. This is, you know, we've got to play out another kind of pullback to end of trend on the 135 minute chart. But we've been spending all these four or five, last four or five days just working out all that cyclical energy. There's no demand up there. Finally, with yesterday's activity, you know, we got that exhaustion pattern that we had, we had not seen. You know, we'd seen people anxious to sell it down at these points here, but we hadn't had an exhaustion pattern. Uh, on the highs and that's what we needed so finally we kind of rolled over and um, expecting uh, some weakness kind of overnight and first thing tomorrow so um, see how to play that I, I'm not going to record uh, or tag on uh, t today's trades if you're interested and you want me to do that if you uh, had some trouble this morning kind of uh, trading the sell-off and then the bounce back and then the sell off after that let me know and I'll put up another, another video with the setups on that but I just want to keep it kind of short and sweet and just explain why we're rolling over into trend moves remember cycles end up you know trend moves end up topping out with cycle cyclical activity and then cycles kind of work themselves out and then we get breaks into trend moves so you know we had our trend move here we've just been putting in this cyclical activity the last four days now we're getting another break of a trend move on the way down. So let's see. Uh, good luck with your trading over the next couple of days.